Hello, I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube with a special update on the typhoon risks around the Western and North Pacific right at the moment. Let's have a look at the big picture here. A big thank you to earth.nullschool.net. They provide these maps. Please check out their website, give them any support. They pr produce some really interesting maps. So we've got three storms at the moment. We've got Regassa up here in China and Vietnam. We've got a newly formed typhoon. We're gonna talk about this in a moment that's coming into the Philippines. And we've also got another storm up here out at sea in the North Pacific. This one poses uh, no real threat to land at this stage. So we're monitoring these two. So let's begin with Regassa here, uh, the one that we've been tracking for the last few days. It is moving through China and now coming into Vietnam and it is falling apart exceptionally fast, which is very good news. It started that process yesterday just before it made landfall and, uh, and then it very quickly weakened as it moved inland. Some significant damage though around China on the coastline from Hong Kong further to the west. So the storm is falling apart, drier skies behind it to some degree, but all that humidity coming out uh, with the south to southwest change producing some very heavy showers uh, as that system moves on through. So it becomes less of a wind event now and turns into a rain event, especially going into northern parts of Vietnam. So on the wind map today, nowhere near as dramatic as it was yesterday. Still some damaging wind gust risks this morning, uh, lunchtime where I am, uh, as the system moves through, but it's weakening, as I say, very quickly over the coming hours. So here is the wind gust map. Same time, uh, uh, 7 a.m. over in Vietnam though, this morning, uh, we don't see the purple on the map. So yesterday we were talking about these sorts of wind gusts, 100, 120, 240, 50, that sort of stuff. Today the coloring is right down here. So gusting to gale force, still a problem. Branches can break with that, but definitely not talking about buildings being flattened and that sort of problem. So like I say, it's about, about the uh, rain. And you jump forward here to four o'clock this afternoon in Vietnam and the wind has basically disappeared. A few gusty areas along the coastline, a few gusts inland, otherwise really not a lot to talk about. So let's move on to the next typhoon. Now locally in the Philippines, this is known as Opong. The international name for it is Bualoi. I hope I said that right. They give us a real challenge with these uh, names, I tell you. So this storm is developing. Now this is in a part of the world where these uh, tropical storms can rapidly deepen. At this stage, the modeling suggests a little bit of deepening as it moves in. Hopefully it doesn't get any worse. And the problem may be more so once it leaves the Philippines, but this is how it looks at the moment, certainly picking up some very strong winds around the center of this storm. So here is the chat tracking from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. So we're seeing storm conditions coming through here, but the good news is it looks as though it weakens as it actually comes in towards Manila. So there could be a fair bit of rain and locally some gusty winds and some problems here and there, but the, more, the, the bigger problems look to be as it moves out over the South China Sea and heads in towards Hainan and Vietnam as we go into the start of next week. So here's the satellite map of this one, a lot more explosive than Regassa uh, looks today. So this one has a fair bit of energy and it is still powering up as it heads in towards the Philippines. This is Thursday morning today as we recorded this and the dark shading you see in the middle means that the cloud tops are going really high up into the atmosphere producing very heavy rain. So let's get into the rain. Here is the rain and air pressure map going uh, into uh, noon tomorrow where I am, eight o'clock in the morning, Friday, if you live here in the Philippines. So we're seeing some very heavy rain. The blue shading here is showing two, 300 millimeters of rain. So high risk of floods and landslides as this moves in. The air pressure is not overly deep. It's deep enough to cause some damaging wind, but overall, Compared to Regassa, this one is nothing uh, as intense. But as I said before, you know, warm waters at this time of the year, you never quite know if it might spark up faster. So keep up to date with those local um, weather warnings coming out of the Philippines. Now we jump forward through till 11 o'clock Saturday evening, and that's Vietnam time now because the storm is powering up as it leaves the Philippines out over the open sea of the South China Sea, and it is getting stronger and the air pressure is dropping, which makes it a uh, significant storm to keep an eye on as we go into next week. And that's where we are here, or at least starting to, going into the end of Sunday. So the end of the weekend, Vietnam time, we're looking at a significant typhoon. Now there is a bit of a disclaimer with this because with 
Regasa, the computer modeling from various organizations around the world, like GFS out of America or ECM out of Europe, were very much aligned for the whole storm. Just a little bit out here and there, but overall were, were very much on the same page. It's not the case with this storm, uh, with Boiloy. This storm, the European modeling doesn't pick it to really be as severe as this. This is the American modeling. So we'll have to wait and see if this one does turn out to be as bad as it looks. But for Vietnam, this would be both a wind and a rain event, and it does look at this stage like it could produce more severe weather than Regassa is currently doing or about to do. But like I say, it is not 100% locked in. What goes on around this part of the world at the start of next week isn't locked in just yet. We'll have to wait a couple more days. So unless this turns into a major storm, this will be our last update on these uh, current uh, typhoons and, and tropical storms, but that's the one we're monitoring. So let's make sense of that for you. Here is the animation showing between today and Tuesday. So it produces some decent rain, three, 400 millimeters of rain possible around the Philippines. And then next week, that's where it may pose a real problem for Vietnam and potentially some parts of China. We just have to wait and see it uh, this far out. And with some of the computer modeling not being in alignment, it's a little hard to lock in.